Hi, this might be the worst idea that you have seen today. Reflect Orbital suggests that we should put satellites with mirrors in the atmosphere and we should redirect some of that low sunlight towards Earth again. So their idea is sending this extra sunlight to you at night. This might seem like a sci-fi project, which it is kinda, but it is doable. Okay, if you have all the money in the Earth, you can do it. But it is not practical at all. It doesn't make sense to do this. So it's still a sci-fi project. There is quite the fiction in this. <laughs> Let's start with the biggest problem. You cannot do this at night. Yeah, that really breaks all of the premise, isn't it? With their current plans with the satellite placements, they can only do this in the dusk or dawn, and you can only get 4 minutes of extra sunlight. You see, these satellites are not going to be that much far away from Earth. That is, if they even successfully launch one, it is going to sit pretty close to Earth in the grand scheme of things. At around 625 kilometers of altitude, their mirror in the satellite is going to have 54 meters of diameter. And since it has to see the sun to reflect it, and the Earth shouldn't be in the way, the satellite should be facing both the Earth and the sun, it has a pretty specific range in the orbit that it can stay at. And to stay in that range, it has to travel very fast. 7.5 kilometers per second. So for a specific place in the Earth's surface, that means that you can only see that satellite for 3 to 4 minutes. Another problem is it is not going to be bright at all. That 54 meters diameter mirror in the space corresponds to around 7 kilometers diameter area in the surface of the Earth. That is a big difference. You are shining a very small patch of light in the sky down to Earth in a big area where you can probably fit a small city in there and when I check my city yes it can nearly fit in that area so it doesn't really make sense there's 15,000 times difference in the brightness between the sunlight and your satellite mirror light it is quite similar to moonlight actually in perfect conditions it seems like it is 10 times brighter than the moonlight that is falling down to the per square meter area you know what let's talk with numbers in a bright day sunlight is around a thousand watts per square meter and moonlight is around 0 0.0006 watts per square meter so yes moonlight is quite dim our mirror satellite is going to be giving 0.004 watts per square meter. In their website, they say it like you should use this at night to shine these mirrors down your solar panels to generate electricity at night. You know, you can make money with these mirror sunlights. But with these numbers, you cannot generate electricity at all. And they say you can stack multiple satellites of sunlight to your area. Yes, you can do it, but you would need around 3000 of them to simulate a cloud day. By the way, if you're wondering around why the mirror cannot just focus that sunlight to a smaller area, that's because sunlight is too big. We have a very small mirror and a very large star. Sun is not a single point light source. You can think it like sending light waves from its top and the bottom. All of those waves are coming to your mirror from different angles. To be exact, sun has 0.5 degrees angle of scattering as a light source. When you're bouncing it off from a mirror, it always projects that light to a bigger area. And the further you project it, it is going to get bigger and bigger. You can replicate this at home with a simple mirror. I tried it with two different mirrors. With a regular small mirror, the bounced light is around 6 centimeters in the wall. When I put the mirror in a distant place, the shined light becomes bigger, it is around 11 centimeters. And I tried it with a bigger mirror. These are all straight mirrors. This time when it's small it was 15 centimeters and when it's distant it was 23 centimeters of projected light. Let's say my mirror is not perfect, you can try it yourself. Multiple people demonstrated it online. Also let me just try to demonstrate it to you with this small diagram. I know this is not perfect but you can get the idea. Let's say this is the sun, this small left big thing, and this smaller circle in the right is the earth. And this is our mirror, alright? These are very way off when it comes to the positioning and the distances but i'm just going to talk about the angles there is this light rays coming from the top of the sun and from the bottom of the sun we have the red and the yellow i'm going to try to demonstrate to you why the curved mirrors would also not work at this situation so you see all of these angles are coming towards a straight mirror it is bouncing back in a weird way you cannot just make it fit into the earth you know there's always going to be some scattering around and let's say you curved it a little bit outwards that is definitely not going to work that is the wrong way to do it you should curve it inwards and when you do that you also cannot align them look at the lines they are not aligning at all and when you finally can align them to the closest perfect shape they are going to be very far away from each other let's say you can just align them around here or let's say we curve them even further let's say we align them at around here this distance between these two crossed points cannot be smaller than what we actually calculated even in the best case scenario you are going to have that 0.5 degrees of angle of scattering and if your satellite is around 600 kilometers up in the 
sky that is going to make it 15,000 times bigger in the surface. They also know this by the way they are planning with this information and they still think it makes sense to do this project and the cost is very high too. Shooting a satellite to space is at least a million dollars. That is if everything goes perfect with the SpaceX and stuff but I'm not sure because other estimates say that the satellite can weigh even more. You know the prices with the space always correlate with the weight of the stuff that you are sending to space. So if they cannot optimize for the best weight some estimates say it can cost around seven million dollars ten million dollars. That is insane money just to put a single mirror into the space. So financially this is not advice but I don't think it works in the means of money. It is just going to be always losing money because it doesn't make sense to get that extra sunlight here. You cannot regenerate that money in here in the surface. What are you going to do with that extra small patch of moon in the sky? Let's talk about what this project actually means and let's say they successfully made this project and it was even brighter than we always calculated okay. First of all it is still a quite large diameter. Who is going to decide where we can shine this light to and if this was successful who is going to be able to afford this stuff. I have seen some videos I am not sure if they are associated with them. They talk about having an app to rent this sunlight. You know it would be for the rich of the riches. That is a dystopian idea. I don't like that. At least that is the wrong way to market this you know. But if you are looking for investments you probably want to appeal to the rich. When it comes to environment and animals and insects lights always confuse nature. So it would probably harm the nature. And I don't know if you were looking for this news but I heard this thing called the global warming. You know we are trying to cool down the earth. I don't think it makes sense to shine more light towards earth. Let's say you've perfected everything and you are just shining light to the night part of the earth. That is the double amount of warmth in our rocky planet. <sighs> We might not want to do that. One last thought. What if we just put the solar panels in the other side of the earth? You know, there's always sunlight on one side of the earth thanks to the solar system and the orbits. It is an amazing thing when you think about it. We actually have the unlimited power. We are just not using it yet. So let's put some more solar panels around the earth and let's connect all of them. I think that is what the humanity should build towards, you know. What do you think about this project? Are there other downsides or upsides that I didn't talk about? If this were free to do, would you you like something like this around the earth? Would you pay for night light other than having actual lights that you can purchase? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you like the video please subscribe and thank you for listening. I just the video please subscribe and thank you for listening. I just made some sound. The video please subscribe and where is this sound coming from? And by the way why my voice is deeper now? Because I had this microphone in the wrong settings all this time.